Welcome to the best of first person episodes from Phantoms and Monsters. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of all future uploads. Flying Mantis like entity confronts Villa Park, Illinois experiencer. This incident occurred on April 23, 2012, at approximately 4:40 a.m. At the time, I live in a townhouse in Villa Park, Illinois, and often sleep on the ground floor in my living room on the couch. I could see both front and back doors, including a sliding glass patio door leading to the backyard. I am a 31-year-old male army veteran, and lived alone at the time. Being a former military man, I was and am still a very avid and active supporter of self-defense. During and also after my military service I have always kept a weapon in my home for self-defense purposes. Even sleeping with a weapon, a .380 caliber pistol, no further than arm's length, in case of an intruder or burglar. Up until this event I was also very skeptical of anything I hadn't seen with my own eyes, especially things related to the paranormal. All of this changed that early morning. As I slept on my living room couch a strange feeling came across me and awoke me from my sleep in the pitch blackness of the room. As I moved myself to the sitting position, I saw a small flash of yellowish light, piercing my sliding glass patio door through the closed hull swing blinds. At first I didn't think much of it, until only seconds later. I see another flash of light, this time the flash was red and seemed larger. Thinking maybe there was an intruder inside the closed wooden gate of my backyard, I quickly grabbed my 380 pistol from the floor near the couch, and hurried to look through the blinds. What I saw next changed my life and has affected me mentally until this day. As I stood at the sliding glass door looking across the parking lot, maybe 60 feet away on the rooftop of the adjacent town and directly in front of me, was a perfectly round extremely bright orb, which could have been approximately 5 to 6 feet in diameter. I couldn't help feeling as if I was being beckoned to come to the door with these flashes of light. After about 10 seconds or so of staring at the bright luminescent orb, it had doubled in size and again changed color to yellowish green in a single flash of bright light. Immediately following the flash there was what sounded like a very loud helicopter, if one could have been directly above my house. At the same time the orb grew something that looked like a large praying mantis mixed with a snake flew out of the orb and straight up. I could see that it had what seemed like a long 3-4 to four feet tail, as it exited what I can only describe as a portal, and then the portal was gone. Almost as quickly as it had exited this orb, the being flew directly towards me as the loud sound was ear piercing. The being moved at an extreme speed toward me. It took all of 2 to 3 seconds to cross the 60 plus feet of parking lot between the adjacent rooftop of the town home directly behind mine, over my wooden backyard fence, where it came to a stop directly in front of me no more than 2 and a half feet, hovering about 5 feet off the ground. At this time the creature displayed no lights. It was all black with what seemed like very strange symbols I had never seen before that went across its midsection, torso area. At first glimpse I could only describe this being as a biomechanical praying mantis mixed with a snake. It had a small head, long ringed neck, but very large and laid black eyes that extended beyond the sides of its head. I quickly and carefully looked it over from bottom to top, my jaw stood wide open in awe. Out of sheer terror and the close proximity it was to me, I immediately raised my weapon over my head, and pressed it firmly against the glass of the sliding doors. Almost as soon as I had made this motion the creature then extended from both sides what I can only describe as two sets of wing-like appendages and emitted what looked like hundreds of tiny blue, sparkling lightning bolts in every direction, above and below each of the four appendages, I say appendages, because if they were wings they didn't seem to be used for flight. The small bolts encompassed and engulfed the being completely. At this moment the loud helicopter, static-like sound had completely stopped. Each of these small blue lightning bolt-like energy emissions were no larger than my pinky finger. After just a few short seconds of me witnessing these lightning bolt-like electric emissions, the entity shot directly up and over the roof of my home at an amazing speed, out of sight towards the front of the town. After much time and thought I've come to the conclusion that this entity did not spread the wing-like appendages, and emit the plasma-like discharge until I brandished my weapon. This led me to believe that this display must have been some sort of protective energy field to shield itself, had I fired upon it. This entire encounter lasted no longer than a few minutes. After the being had disappeared out of view over my home, I quickly ran to the back door and went outside. As I stood there staring into the sky, I immediately realized that it had left almost the exact time of dawn because the sun was coming up. Honestly, I don't like mentioning this part of the account. At that moment I realized that what I thought to be only a few minutes was, in reality, an hour or more had passed because it was now dawn with the sun quickly rising. Until this day, years later, I'm still no closer to an answer of what this being could have been, what it wanted, or why it beckoned me to the door with the light flashes. And, most importantly, what happened during that missing hour. K. Okay. Six-foot-tall mantis entity encountered outside a Fillmore, New York home. This is in response to a recent post about a mantis-like entity. 
The incident occurred on June 22, 2018, a bit before 12 a.m. midnight in Fillmore, New York. I was in the shed to use Wi-Fi for my phone because the kids were on devices and dogs are loud in the house. While I was watching from inside the shed I noticed something an hour after I was in there. I heard movement of something shuffling in the tall grass. I thought it was a deer until my cat started growling and staring at the shed door. When I scanned the tree line in bushes with my big LED light, I thought I saw a head pop up into the dark. I pretended I didn't see it and spotted my light to the left and heard it quickly get closer. I flashed the light back fast and it was very close, now about 30 feet in front of me. We stared at each other for what seemed like forever, but I know it was probably only 20 seconds or so. I was so scared I couldn't move. Also, it didn't move as I watched it. I noticed its limbs and features while we stared at each other. It was greenish gray with very big mantis size. The skin was smooth and had broad shoulders, but as you followed down it got skinny. The eyebrow ridge stuck out with a wide head with an upward slant. Its eyes reflected green. There were light green flecks that shone yellow and orange from my light. It was over six foot tall. I suddenly got the feeling that it was going to grab me, so I slammed the shed door and turned and ran to my house. When I got in I told my husband about what I had seen, I noticed that a whole hour passed by it was now a few minutes after 1 am. I know I didn't look at this thing for an hour. My husband came out with me with his gun, but it was gone. I was really scared after that. I will not be out at night anymore. I always feel like I'm being watched. I started to look into UFOs and abductions. I had never read up on this before my experience, and now believe I was abducted, but have no memory of it. H.C. Brain Mantis Man Sighting, Musconetcong River, Hackettstown, New Jersey. I have recently been doing research regarding an encounter I had about five years ago. Fly fishing on the Musconetcong River in New Jersey with my boss, I saw briefly what I could only describe as a praying mantis man. Although the water was clear, there had been heavy rains the past couple of days. We should not have been out there, the river was smooth, but the current was exceptionally strong. I was leaning backwards and digging my heels into the, the gravel, but the river was still kicking me along pretty good. Sketchy navigating. Please know, I am privy to the paranormal and always have been. Shadow people, ghosts, whatever. But what I encountered that day was not spirit. It was a biological, living creature. But it disappeared into thin air almost as soon as I saw it. For whatever reason, my searches at the time turned up nothing. But then by chance I came across an alien race type video on YouTube, and there in the artwork I saw what I saw, ancient mantis leaders. So when I began searching mantis alien instead of praying mantis man, I found a lot more. They say they are interdimensional, whatever that means, but I did not get that impression. No, this creature was cloaked, and because of both my innate sensory perception skills and the particular physical circumstances at the time, important, I just caught it. Movement out of the corner of my eye to my left and there it was. Humanoid. Tall. Six foot at least, no reference points, but I sent six foot six, maybe seven foot. Moving away from me back up the bank. I am chest high in the river. The first thing I see was the grasshopper thigh, but bending forward like a human. Then the whole form. He is looking at me over his shoulder, moving up the bank, astonished, amazed. What, that I am in the water in a strong current, that I can see him. But yes we lock eyes and this creature is astonished, I get the sense that he can't believe I am in the water, that he can't believe I have seen him, that I am not perturbed at all, something of all three, I still don't know, just astonishment, and he is actually trying to get away from me in the water. Triangular head. Huge, slanted black eyes. Just like a praying mantis. Its whole body was gangly, knobby, but you could still sense it was powerful, and no, I would not say it was a big bug. It was definitely humanoid despite the mantis insect qualities. No, I did not tell my boss about this, who was in the water too, about 50 yards behind me at the time. Being privy to the paranormal you just see these things and sort of go, okay. No fear, no nothing, but I do get the sense that my whatever attitude contributed to this creature's astonishment. Frankly, I didn't give the encounter much though until recently. I just believe now that this encounter was somehow very important. The stretch of the Musconetcong River here is unusual in that its west bank borders Route 46, a local highway, congested with lots of stores, but the east bank where we were fishing borders fields and farmlands. No bank to speak of on the developed side, but the sloping bank on the rural side was high, 10 feet. A strip of trees about 10 to 20 yards thick separated the river from the fields beyond, but there was the occasional gapper path, each about 20 yards wide, that allowed clear access to the river. Like I mentioned, the weather had been bad the previous several days, and the sky was wide and heavy. It was mid-afternoon. When I saw the mantis man, it was in one of these gaps, moving back up the bank towards the fields, looking back at me over its left shoulder. About 15 to 20 yards away. 
so understand that it was several feet above me, I looked up at it and framed clearly against that blank white sky. Like a full ghost apparition, it was indeed clear but nevertheless nearly transparent and fading fast. Then it evaporated mid-stride. Again, I stressed the strong impression that the mantis man was cloaked and I caught it just right, it abruptly found itself against a new blank background and was adjusting quickly. I do not believe it slipped into another dimension or plane. I detected movement and first saw that strong left thigh and strong right calf, then the whole thing and immediately those eyes, face. The whole encounter was only a couple of seconds. I cannot tell you with any strong certainty what its feet or hands looked like, I wasn't looking there, but I can tell you that its arms were normal, and not the literal mantis forelegs I have recently seen in drawings of these aliens. That's really about it. If you have any questions please contact me. Tall Mantis Guardian Angels? I found your channel few months ago because I was trying to look for explanation of what I seen tall white angels that look like bugs. This happened in central Pennsylvania, July, 2013. I was injured and not on any meds and not drinking. Just resting, trying to heal in my room. There was four of them in my room. Height around eight to nine and a half feet tall with extremely large protruding black eyes which wrapped around the head and whitish skin with slight tinge of color. Bodies were extremely skinny but muscular. I don't know exact height because they had to duck in my room. When they came through the air and walls, from the entities I felt overwhelmingly love and compassion like a parent for their child. The first one spoke to me in my thoughts, don't be scared. Don't be scared. She can see us. She can see us. Don't be scared. It was telling me this in my brain. I was looking and listening at them around my room. The whole experience only lasted a few minutes before I blacked out. Next morning, I told my mom and she said she prayed for guardian angels to be around me. My husband told me, do not say that or they will put me in crazy home. Then I secretly told my best friend and she told me that a girl in our town was forced into a hospital by her family because she saw aliens. So I was shocked because I never knew the story of the other girl until she told me. I tried to explain they were angels that looked like extremely tall bug people. But after that I kept quiet about what they looked like for years. Now I research online, but it's hard to find kind stories about tall bug-like entities. And, yeah, they are telepathic. They were as real as the glass of water I was holding. Never seen a UFO and I have never been abducted. Never a believer until that night. This is Lon Strickler. If you like this program, it would help us if you would give it a thumbs up. Then subscribe and click the bell icon so you get notification when we upload new first-person encounters. We have many more to come very soon. And by the way, if you have a suggestion or an experience of your own, please leave a comment.